Hi gang, I thought I'd share something that's been bothering me for a while, and that's in regards to this message on the BMW i3 blog that said the i3s models from 2021 have a tire pressure specification of 39 psi in the front and 44 in the back. If you go back and look at the 2015s, they're running at 33 in the front and 41 in the back. And I pulled up another spec here that says that basically all of the i3s from 2019 forward, not just the i3s, have similar specifications and they also have uh, same tire sizes uh, between the two different dates. I looked at the weight difference between the two uh, time periods and if you look at the 120 amp hour versus the 60 amp hour versions for the Rex version, it's only 140 pounds difference. And the Rex version in 2015 is slightly heavier than the BEV version in 2019-2020. Uh, so there's a pretty close overlap of the weights between these two different time periods. So I, I think as far as, and obviously the specs of the tires are the same, the wheels are the same, the weights are almost the same, so it should work. So we're going to go ahead and do the test. Okay, so we're going to uh, check the tire pressure right now. This should be the nominal pressure for the 2015 i3. So we're seeing about 40 PSI in the back. So what we'll do is we'll take that pressure and we'll take it down to around 38 to 36 and then increase it to 44, which is apparently the new spec for the 2020-2021 BMWs. And um, try to see what that actual effect is. So I've tested four different conditions. Uh, one was the settings that the car had. These are all measured by a separate digital gauge, not from the display screen in, in the car itself, from the TMPI uh, monitors. So 32 in front, 42 in the rear. Then it went down to 28 and 38 PSI, kind of a low pressure condition. Uh, increased it to supposed to be 39 by 44, but only got up to 38 and a half, so we left it at that. And then I remeasured the standard, which is 33 to 41, because um, as I'll show later, the first measurement I did, the first 15 minutes of testing, I don't think the car was stable yet for uh, doing the test. The measurements on the screen from the TPMS sensors uh, is about 2 PSI lower than the actuals measured from a digital gauge, so just keep that in mind when uh, to look at these numbers. I used the trip computer and reset it every test condition to measure the uh, mileage and miles per kilowatt hour and the roughly what the miles per hour was, but I found out that sitting idle that changes that miles per hour measurement, so I pretty much ignore that. The uh, track that I followed was the same every time, uh, going through some downtown streets, keeping the mileage fairly low, or the speed fairly low. Uh, so wind drag effects are not really a consideration. Also, I only used the regen brakes and everything in Eco uh, Pro Plus mode. So, as you can see, that's the uh, tire pressures went up, the ranges were also going up. Uh, the one problem was, as I mentioned, the first measurement group uh, was measuring um, a little bit lower than what it probably should have. I wish I went back and measured uh, group four again, which was around the nominal uh, uh, tire pressures. You can see it's a pretty linear effect if I do that between the average pressures and the expected mileage per kilowatt hour improvement that was seen. Now that being said, it looks like in conclusion there's a couple things we can draw from this. First off, it does look like the uh, overall tire pressure set points have increased since 2019 for not just the i3s but all of the i3s. And uh, it's the same 
basic tire sets used from 2014 forward so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't apply to the older cars since they're even lighter than the newer cars. Uh, the increase does translate into about a 0.4 mile per kilowatt hour improvement which if true is about 9% range increase or battery life extension by about 9% which is not trivial. Um, also says make sure your tires are at least at the uh, PSI spec because it does have a significant impact on your range. Uh, I checked the tires and the tires are actually rated at 51 PSI so it's still quite a ways away from the maximum rated PSI for those tires. Uh, the other thing I, I noticed was the uh, ride harshness was a little bit stiffer and you, you could tell that with the higher pressures but uh, for the gain in uh, range uh, I think it'd be well worth that trade-off if that's the case. Uh, as far as handling, I've also read that uh, slightly higher pressures can possibly affect uh, turning uh, a little bit as far as the handling response. But uh, I think if you know that going up front, it probably won't be a problem. And if that's the default uh, pressure settings for the new vehicles, um, I think it should be relatively safe. So I just got off the phone with BMW USA as to what is the recommendation and they have said to stay with the specification for your particular year model at this point. So if you want to change the pressure, uh, do so at your own risk. I haven't got any authorization from BMW directly to say that it's okay to do that. Anyway, that's the uh, video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please uh, check out the other videos on the channel and like and subscribe. Thanks.